Hello, it's Nancy today. Do you ever want to get spiritual? You want to be more relaxed and calm, more happy, full of joy, and in tune with with promptings, things that you're supposed to do? Well, there's three things that I know of that are really good. The first is prayer. Now, what if you're not in the mood for prayer? If you go sit outside in a beautiful place, let's show you this. Listening to the wind. Listening to the birds. Of course, the ever traffic. Watching the breeze in the grass. Watching the reflections on the bottom of the post, the tree. When you sit in nature for a long enough time and just don't do anything, just sit there. It's totally not what you're used to doing. You're used to being productive and accomplishing things or doing something. Well, if you if you do this, the spirit will start to envelop you. That spirit that, you know, Mother Nature, whatever people call it. To me, I know it's the Holy Spirit, which fills the immensity of space. Just like the sunshine, it's everywhere. And when you when you allow that feeling to permeate your yourself, it's so easy to pray. It's so easy to pray. It's so easy to be thankful. When I look around at all this, I'm just so grateful I have eyes. I know that this will not show up as much on the video, but those this the air is very dry today. And the sunshine is shining on those leaves. And it's just such a wonderful, beautiful look to it. But I've never been able to capture that on camera. When I look at a camera, it's just the same as any day. It's a sunny day. But I would hate to not have eyes. I would hate to have macular degeneration or anything else. I would hate to be blind. I suppose I'd get used to it. I suppose I would learn Braille. I would do what I need to do. I would try and walk out here and sit and listen and appreciate my other senses. But I really love what I see. And it's, I'm so blessed to be able to see. There's so many of us that can see. Most of us can see. Another thing I've been thinking about while I've been sitting here the feeling of praying coming over me. I've been thinking about how grateful I am to have my he- ears, to be able to hear the little cricket sounds, the little chipping of the different kinds of birds, to hear the grass rustle. There's no stones in the water right here, so it's not tripping over it, making brook sounds. But I love being able to hear. There's one bird that I love, the the hermit thrush. I always thought it was the wood thrush, but I think it's the hermit thrush that makes the most beautiful song. It's a flute-like song. I don't remember what it was, but something like that. That's the yellow throat. Anyway, I love having ears. I love hearing. It's just so peaceful out here. And you know... Well, I guess I won't start a new topic because then it will be two things in one video. So I won't do that. Anyway, if you want to... Oh, I was going to say there were three things. The first thing to do to be more spiritual is to pray. The second thing is to get out in nature and be quiet. And the third thing is to read the scriptures. Read uplifting material if you don't believe in the scriptures. Read things that will make you think good thoughts. Be grateful. 
think positive thoughts. There's always something positive. Be optimistic. Somebody once said in a psychoanalysis course I took that if you, that a person who is depressed actually is very much accurate in his assessment of things. He sees things exactly as they are. And that is depressing, I guess, or a depressed person does that. A person who is happy is optimistic. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. It's going to work. And then always looking at the, the positive side of things. There's something I can learn from this trial. It makes a, it makes a lot of difference. You don't need to see things as they are, but as, as you imagine them to be, because actually... It's exactly what you think it is. If you think it's a lousy, rotten day, it is for you. If you think it's a wonderful day, it is. All right, this is Nancy today. Bye.